Hey, how's it going? My name is Pat Kupo. I'm an Ableton Live instructor and the curriculum director at DevSpot. In this quick video, I just want to talk about a live pack that I built for you, which you can download from our blog. Uh, it talks about a drum rack preset I built called Drum Pulse. And then we open up this group track and we can see that uh, Impulse plus Drum Rack equals Drum Pulse. So maybe you can figure out how I got the name there. So a little Ableton Live history for you. Go all the way back to Ableton Live version 1. There was only audio, there was actually no MIDI capabilities. It wasn't until Ableton Live 4 when Impulse and Simpler came out. Now Impulse is a drum sampler. All right, It holds up to 8 samples in its 8 sample slots. Now in version 7, that's when Drum Rack came out. And when this came out, everyone was like, yo, forget Impulse, I'm just using Drum Rack because you can hold up to 128 samples in there. I mean, <laughs> just that number compared to Impulse, which can hold eight, was enough for most people. I was one of those people. I stopped using Impulse, just used Drum Rack. But lately I was thinking, you know, there are a lot of parameters within Impulse that I really miss, like uh, being able to stretch or all of these random parameters or transposing the entire you know, drum kit or whatever samples in, in here with one knob. You know, so I wanted all of that flexibility within drum rack's power, so I, that's where I got the idea for drum pulse. So uh, here's how it works. Let me go into this uh, four example track. I have a kick down here. All right, here's a snare and some samples. So let's check out this drum pad here. If you look at Impulse, I have the same exact sample on all of these sample slots. The thing is though, if I click on this first one, check out the frequency and the random parameter on the resonance. Now look at the next one. Okay, see it moved really, really slightly. And if I keep moving down the line here, you can see that every kick is a little bit different from each other. Now when I hear a kick drum, I don't want to hear the same thing over and over, that's just me, that's my preference. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to be able to push this one button in the drum rack and randomize these sample slots here. And I can do that with two MIDI effects, that's it. Uh, the first one is random, the second one is scale. Random is set to 100% chance, 12 choices for how many notes it can choose from. The distance between those notes is a semitone, that's what the one means. So it's going to play a chromatic scale. But all of those notes are going to go into scale here, which is set to a C major scale. It's going to be randomized, but it'll play notes only from a C major scale. Why is that important? Because impulse is hardwired to a C major scale. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. All right, so all the white keys on a piano. But um, it's hardwired a little more detail from C3 to C4. Now, if we look inside of the, uh, the rack um, and look at the ins and outs, we can see that it's playing C3. So if that's the first note that it's going to choose from, an octave above would be C4. So it's always going to play notes within impulse. So here's what you get. I'm going to play this kick. And if we look over at impulse over here, you can see that it's being randomized. With snare, do the same thing, all the same samples, but I've changed each one more than ever so slightly. Samples, eight different samples. So, how does this come in handy? Well, if we look up here in the MIDI clips, it's only one bar long, it's only one measure long. But if I play it, it's going to sound like things are changing over time. So, let's check this out. So as you can see, uh, only one measure programmed in here, but it sounds like things are changing over time. Same thing here. Same thing in this third scene. So it's only one measure long, but sounds like things are changing. You're only really going to learn how this works if you do it yourself. So in this next group track, I have a how-to. Let me hide the browser real quick. And you can see all the steps into making your own drum pulse. So you start with step one. And if you highlight the, the track title bar up here and use your right and left arrow keys, you can kind of see, kind of like a little flipbook, how it was made. 
Now, um, in the uh, project folder that you get with this live pack, inside of there, there is a PDF explaining each one of these steps. So you can build your own and put your own samples. So by the end, you have a whole different kit, all of your own samples. And you can combine them together. So that is a drum pulse. You can do it yourself here in this DIY, do it yourself, build your own drum rack here, etc. Um, this technique is really cool if you, um, let's say, add an audio track and then open up your ins and outs, then set this to resampling, which will record from the master track here. So let me just uh, deactivate this track, arm the track for recording. Then I have these two clips playing over here. They're going to the master track and I'm going to record them into this audio track. So check this out. All right, so if I solo this track now, all right, we have the audio here. Lots and lots of things you can do there. Um, you can slice it up with uh, slice to new MIDI track. You can reverse the audio. You can rearrange it in the arrangement view. Add some beat repeat to it. Do whatever you want. But making it audio from those one measure clips is just another bonus feature. This combined with Fabius Beck's technique on follow action could also be really cool. So yeah, take this live pack, experiment, do whatever you want with it, and uh, you know, start experimenting and making your own clips from there. Thanks a lot for watching. My name is Pat Kupo, Ableton Live Instructor, and the Director of Curriculum at Dubspot. See you next time. Welcome to Dubspot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, Dubspot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore Dubspot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.